Relapsed AL amyloidosis is really challenging. Um, a lot of the patients now are um, refractory to their atumumab, so the, um, the management of these patients is very challenging. Um, currently, um, if you know, somebody is transplant eligible and they're relapsing, we tend to do transplant. We tend to take them to transplant if we can. If not, um, the BCL2 inhibitor of Vitaticolex is something that I use in patients with translocation 1114. We do have an abstract actually on that here, where we looked at patients who were treated with Vitaticolex based regimens, um, who were um, either refractory to DERA or had an inadequate response to DERA tumimab, and we found an um, overall response rate of 97% with a lot of the patients achieving a very good partial response. So um, that's very promising. Um, we're trying to get, you know, teclistimab, which is a bispecific antibody for some patients, and there's, um, you know, currently trials investigating that. Um, CAR T cell therapy on trial would be also something that I consider. But if somebody is transplant eligible, that would be one of my, you know, strategies.